Today we're going to look at the Google Calendar. There are lots of different ways to get to your calendar. You should have set up your Chromebook so that you have calendar on your shelf down here. I'm not working on a Chromebook so mine isn't down there and I actually don't have it set up on the bookmarks in this account. So I'm going to go the long way. Um, you can come right over here. I call this little guy the Rubik's Cube. Um, other people have called it, called it a tic-tac-toe board. I think everybody just makes up a name for it. But it's right here. You click and you can go to Calendar. And this will bring up your Google Calendar. Um, like I said, lots of different ways. You can go in through Classroom, you can go in through your apps, but this brings up your calendar. This will be the first view that you see. It defaults to the week view. You can change the view to however you prefer to see it. I usually keep mine on the week view, but you can change it to a daily, a week, a month, four day, or agenda. The agenda is way crowded for me, but lots of different ways that you can look at it. I'm gonna go ahead and change it back to a week view. Um, what we have on here, the stuff here at the top, are things that are happening all day long. So I have some assignments posted and another teacher has an assignment up here. Your classes are all going to be color coded, coded I found. Like my banner on my classroom is brown, so that's why my class is brown. I think this is Mr. Bingham. His banner is blue, so his um, assignments come up as blue. So they'll be color coded according to that. So this is a daily assignment. If I click on it, it will give you some more information and then you can go click on even more details. So this is what is happening the entire day in business class on January 9th. To get out of this view, you come back to this button and that takes you back. If you wanted to click on this, this is an assignment. And this has information about this assignment. So if you come down here, this is by hour what's happening. So we have a girls basketball game here and it looks like everything else is pretty empty for the week right now. So that's kind of your daily what's happening all day and then what's happening by the hour so this is the hourly if you come right over here on the left hand side we're going to skip the create for right now and we're going to come over here this is obviously kind of a month view you can choose to collapse things if you'd like with the drop down arrow um, i always just keep that open you can skip months right here go forwards and backwards and then these are other calendar options which you might want to explore. If you drop down here, these are all of your calendars that just default. We're looking at Emily's calendar. She let me look at her account. So here's Emily's. We have birthdays and we have reminders. Those are automatically what Google gives you. Um, if Again, if you drop down, you have different options. You can have display only this calendar, calendar settings, um, so a few different things that you can just look look through later if you want. You can change what color these all come up as. Um, you can play around and change those later on or choose your custom color. Um, you can choose to not see those um, calendars if you don't want to. The ones that we're going to look at are your classroom calendars. If you click down here these are all of the classes that Emily is enrolled in. So she has one for 6B, which is her business class, automation and robotics. She has her holidays, Miss um, Nobler, and yearbook. So she has all of these classes. Um, if she clicked here, it would take off the business classes. Um, and see, it goes down to the bottom, and it's not brown anymore. That doesn't mean that the calendar's gone, it just means that she can't see it. If she clicked on that again, it would come back. This is handy if there's a lot going on on the calendar. You can just um, deselect it and just take away and only concentrate on what you want to see. So you can deselect that class or put it back on there. 
If you didn't want to see the holidays for some reason, you could come right over here and do hide this calendar from the list. Um, again, right here, you can click and you can change if you didn't want business to be brown, you could change what color um, each class shows up as. So there's some different um, customization that you can do. Again, uh, you can change edit notifications, some of your settings that you can go in and you can play around with. Um, up here you can change the, the week view if you want to look ahead and everything, and then you can jump back to today right there. Um, go ahead and turn business back on. So we jumped ahead and we um, skipped create because I wanted to end on that one. Um, to create an event in Google is really pretty easy. To go in the long way, you're just going to click on it. And the first thing is to give the event a title. So you're just going to title it whatever you want. And then everything else is really pretty self-explanatory. You give it a date, you give it a time. And then this is um, right here. If you give it all day, it takes away that time. And then you can do a repeating event. Let's say you had practice on certain days. Um, Ari has um, drum lessons every Wednesday. So if I wanted to put Ari's drum lessons in here, I would do repeating every Wednesday at 6.30. So you could do a repeating event. The location, if you wanted to, you can change what calendar you want to put this on. You can add your description and customize it however you want. If you want a notification, so say you want to study for a business quiz. You can do study for business quiz. You can put in a time and then you can come down here and tell yourself, oh, right here, you can tell yourself to study. So that's how you can put in an event. I'm going to tell it to discard and come back out here. This little um, arrow is a quick event. If you are quick add, if you click right here, you can just um, type in like their examples, dinner with Michael, 7 p.m. tomorrow. You type all that in and add, and it will go ahead and add that in um, for you. So it's an easy way to go ahead and add that real quick. So that is a fast in intro into Google Calendar. Um, we are going to use that to keep track of all of our assignments, what's going on in all of our different classes, and um, keep ourselves keep ourselves organized. Thank you.